Got him. So the best thing I can do now is, he's a nocturnal animal, he's gonna want darkness. So if I can get um, a tarp safely over him without getting sprayed, he might go to sleep in there. At least calm down. Ripe. All right. That was a thing. I mean, you didn't get me directly. No. But you got the tarp, and it's just, oh, it's all over. Honey, that tarp doesn't come back either. That needs to go away. Oh, everything goes away, except for the trap. Well, yeah. We'll wash it. But yeah. Looks like we better go buy some jingos. <laughs> Son, did we get rid of the skunk? Yep. Yep, we drove all the way out here. There's the uh, crate, or the uh, trap. And we release him into a wildlife refuge over here. He's gonna love his new home. I'm gonna love his new home. There's no houses around here. This is great for him. So, skunk okay. relocation is successful we almost got uh sprayed but uh we're doing pretty good so it's time to go home we went over 10 miles uh oh today i'm rebuilding a ford motorcraft carburetor um been having trouble with the with the way this truck has been running it's a 76 ford f-150 i got the right number on the carburetor here to buy the correct kit. So I got this kit. Um, I was gonna try and buy like an Edelbrock or something, but you have to get an intake manifold for this engine and this carburetor. So it was upwards to $1,000. With this kit here, I think it was $19. And this kit was for the float, I think it was like another 12. And I think the float is actually the problem. 30 bucks? versus a thousand. I think I'll give it my best shot, see what I can do. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. The last few things I've been trying have been utter failures. And I really just hope that this works. I'm just tired of not getting it right. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Woo. Went over 10 miles. All right, say goodbye to the skunk. Bye. 
So my son and I got safely back home, and um, the battle with the skunk is now officially over. I'm going to go ahead and set the game cameras out one more time, and just make sure that it's not a, a, a clan of them. And that way, hopefully, we can put the peeps back in the coop. We're going to refortify. I'll put the game cameras out again. Just check and make sure um, they're all gone. That, that it was just the one. Uh, I was really debating on what to do. I was thinking about, you know, you know, just shooting it. And uh, to relocate a skunk, you have to drive over 10 miles. I was reading that on the internet. And, and I'm like, I drove it 12 to a, a wildlife refuge that's not too far away from here. So that, <clears throat> and it was relocated in the, the shrubs that you can see kind of, I didn't film it. And the reason I didn't is because I needed both hands to operate the trap to open it up. And it was tricky and I didn't want my son near it. So I left him in the car, in the truck. But what you have to do is you have to, you know, make sure the star tarp stays down. So it's spraying the tarp and not you. So I had to fold, fold the tarp back a little bit and then I had to operate the locking mechanism and the thing is that it won't stay open it just wants to I mean because if you set it he's in there and he or she he you know is in there and it's keeps hitting the trigger and so it and so you're you're having to hand hold it so you're now letting a skunk out head first tail right at you and you, you know, I had to literally lift the, the thing and dump it, uh, dump the skunk out because he would, would not leave, uh, the trap. So I dumped it. Now, holding a camera, posing that, that ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry. You know, I don't want to get sprayed directly. Uh, my shoes got some of the oil on it, so they're gone. It's uh, I got my worst pair of shoes like from like four or five seasons ago. I always keep like one really nasty pair of shoes around just in case I need to do something really terrible with it and this was uh, this was it and so the shoes are gone the pants I was wearing old pair of carpenter jeans oh gosh probably 15 years old from old navy that had just you know they're hanging in there barely um they're all ripped up so they're gone and uh you know it was just pretty much uh pretty much from the cuff of the ankles in the shoes that's and one shoe was okay the other shoe got hit pretty hard but that's that's it you know you just i dumped it out and then i once the skunk was clear it you know it stood there you know like what are you gonna do <laughs> and i'm looking at him going i'm not staying around to see what you do or smell what you do so i pulled the trap back as fast as i could with the tarp and uh went all the way back the can of cat food came out uh, as well, so I went and got, got the can because I didn't want to leave that in the refuge. That would have been uh, littering and rude. And uh, but I walked up, grabbed it, and um, the skunk had already gone into the the, the brush. There's a creek nearby, uh, some trees. I mean, you can go right into a nice little um, shaded area and, and uh, recover from the trauma that he experienced. But you know, <clears throat> yeah, he may have experienced trauma, but you know, our coop was hit so hard. Um, he just was having fun uh, killing our hens, our brand new hens that we had just put out there. And uh, it's just the cycle of nature, you know. It's like, you know, what are you going to do? The property smells like skunk. Um, there's oil in the back of the pickup, so I'm going to have to go rinse that out uh, from the, the skunk oil. You can smell that pretty heavy. But other than that, it's all done. My wife made some coffee cake while I was gone with her, with our son in the in uh, removing the skunk. So I got to have some coffee cake. I'm having a cup of coffee. And I'm just sitting on the back porch. It's not so bad here as it is on the front of the house where the where I put the clothes in a bag. I'm gonna take it to the dump. That bag smells terrible. I just even the, the tripod for the camera, I think, got 
the spray on it because the tripod for the camera, uh, the game camera just reeks. It's just, um, wow. We've had skunks on the property before. They've never messed with the chickens. Uh, I really think that the reason that this one did is because the, the, the chickens were so small and he could take them out one at a time and, and uh, play with them, eat them. So that's the tale of the, the skunk relocation. I'm glad it happened. It needed to happen. Any last words? Um... I don't know. Capturing live, releasing, and killing, they both stink. <laughs>